This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 532, Investing Your Tax Refund for a 1,000% Return, by Sam of FinancialSamurai.com. And I'm Dan, your host, and this is where I read to you from some of the best blogs on personal finance. I narrate articles from blogs like Mr. Money Mustache, I Will Teach You to Be Rich, Get Rich Slowly, Budgets Are Sexy, and more. Sort of like a gigantic ongoing audiobook, but free of charge. And today's post comes from Financial Samurai, but before we get to that, I want to thank Roofstock for their support of this show. Looking to get into real estate investing but not sure where to begin? Roofstock is the easiest way to buy income-producing rental homes in attractive real estate markets. And Roofstock has put together a special offer for listeners of the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast. Simply go to roofstock.com slash OFD and sign up today to save $350 when you close on your first rental property through Roofstock. Offer valid for a limited time only. Terms and conditions apply. Again, that's roofstock.com slash OFD. For now, let's get to today's post and start optimizing your life. Investing your tax refund for a 1,000% return by Sam of FinancialSamurai.com. In the article, How to Get Over Your Fear of Investing, I mention how your risk tolerance decreases the more capital you accumulate. When you were rocking a $100,000 net worth as a 30-year-old, you had no problems investing 30% of your net worth in your employer's promising stock. But now that you're 50 and less enthusiastic about working for decades more, investing 30% of your $1 million nest egg doesn't seem like a good idea. The tax refund actually provides for a great opportunity to swing for the ROI fences every year, no matter your age or net worth. Given that the average tax refund is only around $3,000, many people just blow it on material things like shoes, clothing, gadgets, and LED TVs. It's not necessarily a bad idea to use your bonus money to buy something tangible. Any of these things can provide solid utility until next year's refund. Alternatively, going the traditional route of paying down debt or increasing a depleted emergency fund is also fine, just terribly unexciting. Now, if your tax refund was a whopping $100,000, I'm willing to bet that your approach to spending it would be substantially different. Some would unwisely go out and spend the money instantly on a luxury automobile. Most, however, would probably give considerably more thought to the question of how to deploy such a large sum. Things like paying down a mortgage, investing for retirement, buying a home, putting away money for a child's education, or helping out a loved one all come to mind with this level of money. But most people will never receive such a large refund, so the point is moot. Sorry. The 100K refund simply provides a mental exercise that highlights how our spending habits shift when dealing with different levels of money. Although a tax refund often feels like a nice windfall each year, it's actually been your money all along. And how boring it is to just invest that money, now that you finally have it, in the stock market for a potential 8% historical return. Of course, if you've got revolving credit card debt with interest rates in the teens or higher, certainly give that a whack. But as a financial samurai reader, I'm thinking you guys are savvier than this. A 10x return on your money. Please spend some time reading the most lucrative ways to spend your tax refund. Each of the four ways I suggest provides a return ranging from 1,000% to priceless, in my opinion. While you probably can afford to take bigger risks with $3,000, my suggestions for investing your tax refund probably have the lowest risk of all and definitely the biggest payoff. Use your refund to build better relationships at work and at home. If work is going well and your love life is swell, everything else just takes care of itself. All this talk about aggressively investing your savings into stocks and bonds for a more secure financial future is just gravy because you're living in a wonderful moment. When was the last time you took your boss out for lunch? On you. I bet for many people, the answer is never. But as I've highlighted before in the article, How to Get Ahead in Your Career, that's exactly what some of the most keen people in any organization do. If you could pave your path to a promotion and a raise, the return on a fancy $100 lunch or multiple lunches with your boss is probably closer to 10,000% instead of just 1,000%. The happiest moments in my life are when I'm surrounded by family, friends, and loved ones. Think back to those family holiday get-togethers or those great adventure vacations with your partner. What a blast. How about those momentous occasions when your parents proudly watched you graduate from high school or college? These are moments I'll never forget. It's curious how we drift apart as we get older. Life gets in the way, I guess. Spending money to be with friends and family can't be beat. Tax Refund Spending Plan 
My refund this year is relatively large because of deferred compensation that is paid in a lump sum once a year while no longer having a lump sum severance payment. The IRS thinks the lump sum will occur every month and therefore taxes the amount at the top tax bracket. The reality is I earned much less to the point where AMT was only a couple thousand dollars. One day I hope AMT will be zero if Congress can raise the income trap. I see annual tax refund as a defined pool of money that should be wisely spent on others as well as yourself. If you throw the refund into your pool of investments, its efficacy disappears. You won't even be able to feel the joy of a 10% return. But if you invest the refund on relationships, a better life awaits. You just listened to the post titled Investing Your Tax Refund for a 1000% Return by Sam of FinancialSamurai.com. And thank you again to Roofstock for sponsoring this episode. Getting into the game of real estate is difficult unless you know what you're doing. And most real estate investors are constrained by what's available in their local market. But that's where Roofstock comes in. Roofstock provides a hassle-free way to buy cash-flowing rental properties across the country instead of being constrained to where you live. And they do the number crunching for you so you can make real estate investment decisions based on the cap rate, cash flows, and more. It's the easiest way to buy income-producing rental homes in attractive real estate markets across the country. And Roofstock has put together a special offer for listeners of the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast. Go to roofstock.com OFD and sign up today to save $350 when you close on your first rental property through Roofstock. Offer valid for a limited time only. Terms and conditions apply. Again, that's roofstock.com OFD. And that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for being here and listening each day. I will see you in the Wednesday show tomorrow where we'll hear from Mr. Money Mustache. That's where your optimal life awaits.